Hello, everybody. Brian here of Quantlabs.net. Today is the fifteenth uh, of November, uh, September, twelve fifteen a.m. Uh, you start in time. Doesn't really matter there. What I want to show you is uh, OpenBB now. Uh, yes, I'm back on it. We're trying to be. Uh, there was a lot of problems I had with it. As you can see here, there's a current version 3.22. I'm running this on Windows. They pretty well bastardized what I was using, the scripting for the OpenBB scripts. And uh, that was a very useful feature. They seem to uh, just bastardize it really bad. So I want to show you what I've done um, overall. Uh, let me just see here. Okay. so. I'll put in uh, some instructions on how to get this working once you get your OpenBB account running. Um, and uh, what what I want to show you is the scripting, which I think is most the most useful part of OpenBB. So I'm using the OpenBB uh, terminal, with the free one. In here, they got a whole big whopping load of scripts here. I thought there'd be a lot more, and um, you can see here that they have some central bank related. I'm just using this, I uh, don't know, I think it's this one, the influence of the central bank. Um, so what you can do is you can download it, okay? And then this will explain what it does related to the influence of the, the central bank, blah, 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 whatever it does, okay? It doesn't really matter. But you download it and what will happen is in my 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 view, is it will um, basically download to your Windows uh, folder default influence of the central bank's OpenBB. Okay, so in there uh, in OpenBB, if I can find it. Uh, OpenBB, get buried among here. Okay, so here's OpenBB terminal. So in here, um, they have a exe command, okay? I guess it's new. So you can run your exe commands. Uh, let's see, exe hyphen example. So, uh, okay. Um, so here it's gonna create some interesting things. Um, we pull up the windows that's going to pull up. This is a powerful feature. So here's some of the charts you get for this. So this is Apple, I believe. This is the powerful thing. So it'll generate some very powerful charting uh, managers of Apple. So these are all uh, within different various commands within the uh, OpenBB. This is the powerful thing of OpenBB. Looks like they've really improved it a lot. So this is, I guess, the Apple price and overlays, whatever. So let me close that up. So these are the managers. That's an output from that. Uh, output from time series, I guess. Average price target. I'm not sure how that works, but it doesn't really matter. Here's the uh, fundamentals on that annual earnings estimates. Okay, so that's basically running these set of commands that automatically default. So load Apple, load up a candle chart with moving average of 20. I think fundamental analysis. So this is the structure of how it goes. Uh, first, you have to go into the stocks. Then you load Apple. Then you can run a bunch of other commands. And out of that, you can go into another subsection called, in this case, a fundamental analyst or FA. Pull up uh, the management, and then I'll pull up that window. PT, I can't remember. Estimates, basically their outlook. Very powerful stuff. Yay for that. All right, so in my case, uh, under default, I know this is going to be kind of wonky what I'm going to do. Um, but I'm going to show you when you download a script, what you can do is you go EXE, uh, drag and drop if you're on Windows, like, See so here, you gotta load in the file parameter, file parameter, and then uh, drag this over. I believe that should work. So there you go. So that's how you can run this script with OpenBB extension and just go crazy, right? 
Now, one thing you need to do is you need to load up the keys. So this is using uh, Fred database. So I'm gonna let this run in the background. So here's the Fred database, okay? You create your Fred uh, account, and then you can go into uh, the API keys, and in there, load in your keys. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Let's just see if this is, okay, so this is still downloading. Uh, so it's creating a new central bank XLS spreadsheet. This is the default location uh, under your user, open BB user data exports, and then the uh, XLS spreadsheet that you create in the script. Once again, uh, this one right here, these are the lines you need to create all that stuff. These ones right here. Okay. And uh, it's running right now in the background. It takes some time. But let me show you uh, the spreadsheet here. Or better yet, let me pull, let me see if I can pull up another another uh, open BB session here. I'm not sure if it allows it. So we'll open up another spread, uh, session here. So here's open BB. Now what also here I want to show you the keys because you need an API from the Fred Fed Fed Fred database. Now I'm finding this somewhat flaky. I don't know that, I mean if 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 it can't run a second session. Oh there you go. Okay, cool. So in here, if you go under keys, okay, just checking all the keys for all the different data sources. Some are free, some you need to pay, get paid. Like a WAND is a good one for uh, for um, your uh, Forex CFD data, um, be GitHub. Fred is what we're going to use. You can see here it's been defined here. So what you do is just go into Fred and then the API, and then that's it. And it should automatically uh, install that. So another resource, Quandl, Polygon, uh, just depends, Coinbase for your uh, data, um, or Binance. So it's pretty cool. That's how you set up your key. So it's still running here. So we'll just let it run. There's so much to OpenBB. Um, and uh, yeah, I just don't know what to tell you. So let me sh let me pull up the folder here. Um, so here is the folder. So you got here, uh, as I said, user feedback, open BB user, then export. This is the default for um, open BB on Windows. Now maybe different on Mac, and maybe different on. Linux, but here you can see it's finished now. So if you load up the spreadsheet, this is what it's generated. And voila. All the data there generated from those scripts or that one script. That's basically how you do it. I'm glad to see that this is somewhat uh, brought back into OpenBB because now it's useful to, for me. Um, there's different versions of OpenBB, which is very uh, confusing. So if you go to OpenBB, uh, .co, in here you got four different versions. This is, this is a confusing part, right? So if you go under, uh, so you got here Terminal, Terminal Pro, SDK, so from, let's say, your Python, you can call their SDK and run everything in the SDK. The bot, um, I haven't really played with, but uh, the best one I find is this one, the, the terminal. There's probably some limitations on how much you can run. Uh, and then the pro, I don't know how much that is. I think it's like 90 bucks a month or something. If you use it a lot, it might be worthwhile. To do that, get ready, already subscribe, watch list, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. But already subscribe to the wait list. I guess it's not been released yet. 
uh, by the looks of it. I don't know. But uh, I think it was going to be 97 a month or something. So I don't know about that. I can't say. Anyways, um, as you know, this is now back and running. And some of my good books, depending upon the limitations on the free. But uh, if you want to know more about what I'm going to do with this, uh, you can get on my email list at quantlabs.net slash books. Just join here. All your info. Uh, it's not released to anybody. And do that. You'll see the link at the bottom as well, this video. I uh, just wanted to let you know what's going on here. So, yeah, OpenBB is better now as opposed to uh, back in January, I believe. But uh, it's much better now to be able to run those scripts. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good day.